In this video, I'm going to demonstrate for you how to create a t-shirt design using the Teespring designer. At this point, you should have watched the previous video where you learned about ways where you can capitalize on hot trends, where we discovered some niches, and also went into the Teespring site to find websites related to all kinds of different topics. So what you want to do is, again, go out to teespring.com because that's where we're going to go to launch our campaign. Now, for this example, I found a shirt where it, it had a design that I could actually duplicate for many different niche markets. And this one is a really cool design. And so I decided to actually replicate this idea using a different niche market and in the niche of fishing. So what I've done here is I'm going to go to launch a campaign right up here in the top navigation bar. So go to launch a campaign. First thing you do, it's super simple. So for this one, it's just a text-based design. And that's what most of these designs end up being on Teespring. So it makes it super easy. And I'm going to show you all the options. So this particular design, we're going to go with the phrase, I love, because it's going to be about, I love my wife. And it's also going to have kind of a funny phrase in there as well. So I love is the first thing you would type in there. Next thing you want to do is choose your font. So that's your, the first thing you just type your first line of the text and you can choose from the popular fonts here. And let's see, so we can come down here and look at that. And that, that one doesn't look near as good. So we could come down here to some different options. So you've got foreign fonts that show up here. You've got all kinds of different fonts. And notice as soon as I choose one, it automatically changes the design on the shirt so you can see how that design is going to look there is futuristic designs so there's some cool uh, different futuristic designs that you could choose from all kinds of different text the old-fashioned fonts there are some pretty neat ones there then we could go on down here to let's go with the uh, grunge look I mean basically there are just so many possibilities here. We're going to go to the handwritten though, and I'm going to choose Sketch Rockwell for this particular one because it does look good that way. So I'm going to go up here and position this logo. So I love. And then the next thing we're going to type is my wife. And we will take that using the same Sketch Rockwell font. I'm going to come right over here, size that up just a little bit. The next thing that we want to do is add in a small phrase. So I want to say, let me go over here, I love it when. So I love it, it when. And that's going to go right below here. And we want this one to be a different font, so it kind of stands out. So I'm going to choose kind of a cursive, more basic font here. And so let's go here to this font, font called Watermark. But I don't really like the look of that one, so I'm going to go to a different one. And let's go here to Angelica. And that one looks pretty sharp, actually. That one looks really, really good. So let's actually make that stand out as a different color. So let's come over here and make this a red color so it really jumps out. And so I'm going to jump over here and pick my color. So we'll make that a red, kind of bold it up. So I love it when. We'll make it a little bit smaller. And next thing we're going to do is type in the last part. Let's me fish. And then we're going to choose our color again. We'll go back to the same red color. Come down here, make that stand out just a little bit like the other one does. And we'll add a period at the end, so it kind of makes a full sentence there. So again, it's just as simple as dragging and dropping. You'll notice as I position these things, as soon as I grab the font and I want to move it around, you'll notice this blue line comes down. And that's how you center the design. And you know where the design's going to be centered on your shirt. The next thing you'll do here is if you're stretching this out more, it's, you know, it's going to basically show you that you're going to be outside of the uh, print printable area. So this is the printable area here. So you do need to be careful that you stay within those boundaries and within uh, those lines. So next thing we're going to do is kind of take a look at how that design is coming together. It looks really, really sharp. And so notice here, it's kind of a play on words there. You know, you get with this t-shirt, it's I love my wife. But then when you read between the lines, it says, I love it when my wife lets me fish. So it's kind of a fun design, tongue-in-cheek type design. And let's say that we want to add a picture 
just to kind of enhance this. So I'm going to go here to where it says search for art and I'm going to type in fishing because that's what this shirt is about. So there's quite a few different designs uh, that we could pick from here. So here's one. It's a, a man fishing. And if I were to grab up here uh, by that arrow, he's got a fishing pole there, it looks like. And we could throw that image right down there just to kind of add something to it. Uh, but actually, I don't necessarily like that one. So I'm just going to hit the delete button. Go back here, search for art. And we're going to try this one out here. So I'm going to scroll on down. And we're going to make it a little bit smaller so it just kind of flows with the design here and doesn't overtake it. And I'm going to position that, try and get it centered there as much as possible. When that blue line comes up, we're centered. Okay, so that looks pretty sharp there. And there it is. So now you've got the phrase, I love it when my wife lets me fish. And then there's a picture of a guy out there fishing. And so it's kind of a fun looking design. Super simple to do. It was just a matter of pointing and clicking on our mouse. So now that we've got this ready to go, it's time to choose what kind of t-shirts uh, we would like to go with. And so we will, what we're going to do here is actually pick a different set of t-shirts uh, that we would like to set up so what we're going to do is find our shirt um, the shirt designs so we're going to go with basic tees we could go with a long sleeve tees we can go with tank tops but we're going to stick with a basic tee here and a couple things to keep in mind you could go with a budget friendly shirt which you'll notice that's going to make your cost go down so your base cost uh, would be eight dollars and twenty cents for this particular design as you add more colors to your design it's going to end up driving your cost up so you want to be careful about having too many colors and too many different uh, things like that that will drive the cost up so usually one to two colors is usually a good rule of thumb and a good way to go so i'm going to go ahead and choose uh, let's go here to premium ring spun uh, t-shirt. This canvas uh, ring spun tee is, is a really good premium material as well. And that's a that's creates a really nice shirt. But you can see what it does to your profit margins. So if you wanted to stick with more of the budget t-shirts, you could certainly do that as well. Um, you could certainly stick with that. But if you wanted some different color options like brown, I think brown looks really good for this one. Uh, this navy blue looks good. That charcoal color, that light blue, and the white all look really good, really nice looking designs. So let's see here. And the green also looks sharp. So let's go ahead and just choose next step. So you can see here as you go through, you can see how your shirt's going to look amongst these different colors. And so you can kind of pick your color as you go along. So we'll go ahead and stop this video. Then we'll go on to the next video, which is going to explain how to take this shirt and actually get it posted and live onto Teespring. So we'll go through that those steps in the next video.